ओके गाइज वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सो वी आर सी दिस प्रॉब्लम हैकर एंड कॉल्ड सेट डिस्कार्ड रिमूव एंड पॉप सो डिस्कार्ड रिमूव एंड पॉप आर वेरियस ऑपरेशन दैट वी कैन परफॉर्म एन एन एस सेट सो दे हैव एक्चुअली गिवन द थियरी ऑफ रिगार्डिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो विल जस्ट सी इन ब्रीफ सो रिमूव फंक्शन इज यूज टू रिमूव एनी एलिमेंट and if it, if that element this x is the element that we have to remove from that set but if it does not exist then it will give us an error and if it does exist then it will obviously remove that element and discard means you can say it's similar to remove but just it does not give any error if that element x is not there in that particular set and pop it just removes and returns any arbitrary element from that set that's all that's all we need to know for this problem so the input format is first line contains integer n that is okay we'll just try to code it in python directly so first line is input whatever input is there we don't have to use it that's why i'm just taking any random input after that we are taking any uh, set as input so i'll write suppose l is my set or suppose s is my set i'll just write set then i'll use the map function so by map i write the map of integers and after that i write input dot split so i can take the inputs and spaces by using the space function sorry split function and this by default it takes space okay and after that i think n is the input integer input i'll just check it once integer input okay and that is number of commands okay and after that okay the n command so for executing the particular n commands i'll have to use a for loop so i'll simply write for i in range range will be n because there are n commands After that, they are taking. We have. We actually have to take some commands as the input. That is, in this format, we have to take them, right? So for that, I'll have to take a list as input by split. Okay. So I'll just again suppose I'm taking any. I'm making any list called commands. So this is my list, and I'm taking it as input dot split. When I write input dot split, it automatically forms a list. So this list is in commands. so the zeroth index the element at the zeroth index will be the command and the element at the first index will be the whatever value that it, that is there for remove or discard but see it is this value is there for the first index that is see this is the zeroth index and this is the first index 9 but see for pop there does not exist any first index so i'll have to name it so if i can write if the length of that string is greater than 1 so if it is greater than 1 then we just have to pop it right so i'll just assign sorry we don't have to pop it we just have to take this element and remove it right so i'll just write if length of commands if this thing is greater than 1 then what i have to do then i'll just write e equals to commands of 1 i just have done index accessing in python language okay and after that uh, we just have to do it we just have to split them and all so i'll just write if commands of 0 if if this thing is equal to first of all i think we have to pop it so if this command is equal to pop then i'll simply write l dot pop or s dot pop it was s s dot pop okay and after that again if condition if commands of 0 if it is equal to equal to remove then simply l dot remove we just have to type a lot that's the problem in it the problem is really is actually there's no not much logic used so again if commands of 0 equals to equals to we do better with pop remove now discard so if it is equal to discard s dot discard e and here also as dot remove e okay i think we are done but see this e is in form of string now because we took input dot split where it went yeah we took it as input dot split so if you don't write integer then it takes it as a string but when we write it here then it is not a string sorry it should not be a string it should be an integer so i'll simply write or float value but here we are taking integer so i'll simply write equals to the integer value of commands of 1 because commands of 1 is a string right now whatever it is 9 4 it is a string so we have to convert it into an integer value so that we can use e here and after that we just have to print the sum of elements so i'll simply write print sum of s 
this thing is actually nice because it is inbuilt in python so it works for us i'll just copy all this and paste it uh, the output should be 4 so let us check once okay we got 4 as our output i'll just copy the whole code and paste it on hacker rank so that we can verify all the test cases yeah there's no problem i guess Yeah, there's no problem. All other skills are satisfied. Okay, we got the points as well. So it works. Thank you.